animals and plants need energy to live and grow. They get this energy through a process known as respiration, a chemical reaction which releases energy from food. All living things respire all the time, even when they're asleep. Most plants and animals respire aerobically, which means they use oxygen. This combines with glucose to form carbon dioxide and water. But at the same time, energy is released. It's this energy which allows plants and animals to move and grow. This chemical reaction takes place in every cell in your body. To monitor levels of oxygen uptake and carbon dioxide production, an athlete is connected to a computerised gas analyzer. When oxygen is breathed in, some of it passes via the lungs and bloodstream to individual cells. The computer measures how much oxygen the body removes from each breath. So what effect will activity have on Jackie's oxygen uptake? For four minutes she remains at rest and the computer measures the volume of oxygen consumed. The trace is made up of dots. Each dot is a single breath. At rest, the amount of oxygen taken up and used by the body is less than 1,000 millilitres per minute. So what happens when Jackie starts to walk? As you might expect, her oxygen uptake has increased. It's more than doubled. For the next four minutes, she jogs before breaking out into a harder run. As the exercise becomes more strenuous, the body needs more energy. Respiration increases and so does oxygen uptake. The gas analyzer also measures the oxygen and carbon dioxide in the air Jackie breathes out. The purple dots represent the percentage of CO2 in exhaled air. As exercise increases, the body produces more. The black dots show the percentage of oxygen in exhaled air. As the body gradually demands extra oxygen, it removes more from each breath. But the body can only remove a limited amount, so the line levels off. To increase oxygen uptake, Jackie automatically has to take larger, more frequent breaths. <laughs> 